so when I was at her house, I mean, of the day, um, remember I didn't come with anything. Remember they had advised me that I was going to come and they were going to shop for me. And I remember I had stayed in the house for like three, four days, you know, and everything. I'll be like, give me this. Remember she's treating me bad at making all those calls, but I was still like acting in grace and, you know, comportment. Her husband gave her money. Oh yeah, go and show for your sister the bras and all the underwears. I mean, you guys advise me to come without anything because you think that I'm a novice. I can't fly with a bag and luggage. This girl took the money, <laughs> took me to the store. Used the money to buy her kids, stuff and herself. Came home and asked me to, that I should just go to the bathroom, that her underwears are there, we can share. That I should go into her bathroom, that I'm going to see her laundry laundry basket for her underwear that I should select the ones I like and wash to wear y'all I had just turned 28 this lady had come to welcome me at the airport with balloons I know all of you saw that picture balloons because she knew that people were gonna see the pictures this lady had already love bombed me when I came down this is a person treating me like this love bumping me because she, she knew that people are gonna see pictures of her giving me coming to the airport with balloons and everything and i can even when i see that picture i knew that that wasn't a wonderful laughter that was it the first laughter in the picture but that was the love bumping and this next day it was already her calling her friends and telling her friends that her enemy was there her enemy this is a sister that everybody knows of beggary there's none of my friend that doesn't know her. My friends fear her. Like, I tell my friends, my friends will warn me about why. Why would you allow your sister to come to the hostel like you're in school? You know, like, this is a sister that when I wanted to get married one time, somebody was coming to marry me. I was already grown. I was in, I was in first year. She was crying and packing her things in the house that she's leaving. No, yeah. Somebody wants to marry No, yeah. When I've not married, I'm leaving. I've not married and No, yeah wants to marry. And she love bumped me to come to the airport to give me cake and everything. The next day, it was she and her friend against me. I'm going to beat up somebody. So while she was doing that, I recorded some of it because I was scared. I'm like, if this girl kills me, this American, I don't know. This, her fury was so, she was so angry that I was scared. I was truly scared that I had to record just in case, okay, maybe she'll, and I, I will record and then I will, because I didn't know how I was going to save it. But I'll record it on WhatsApp and I'll send it to my best friend. I'll tell her, hold this video just just hold this out of fear <laughs> and then I and then I remember a friend of mine my classmate in primary school had to like buy me a ticket to come to Atlanta so I flew you know her face was all because you know I, you know like she didn't want me to do none of that of course I, I, I came here to be a maid a house girl so she didn't know I was gonna come with all that confidence so she was how am I gonna break her down so she was frustrated but I traveled two days came back to her house and the abuse, verbal abuse, and bullying continued. I had to make a plan. I, even though I knew that the person, Shama, my sister, had chased her out of her house, so I knew that was gonna happen to me because that one, that one is that Shama, <laughs> Doctor Shama, Doctor. Why you, you don't even have any business. You're a doctor. All the doctors I know in America are doing great, opening businesses. She don't do. She don't. She doesn't have. That. So. Because of your heart, girl. Where's your mom, Choma? You chased your mom out in the cold. Choma chased my mom out. Your mother, you chased her out, pushed her out. My mom well, had the wrap on her chest and had to run to the neighbor, white white neighborhood that was acting like, you know how white people are? They were looking at her like this. Like, help me, elder abuse, help me. And some of one person called the police. And the police came and asked her what was going on. My mom was like, friend. She almost fought my mom. You all should open your eyes. Forget about this, this thing. These are the things we are shoving under the rug. These are the things we are shoving under the rug. Till to today, Choma, this December, January, swore and we had a family meeting that she would never keep my mom, that she anywhere my mom is going to go. Out of the six children, of course, the other one is acting bushy. She's all the same with them, but she's, a, she's acting bushy. So she's not in the group. Out of all the people, my dear, that was gonna take my mom, I have some my two sisters living in mansions. They decided that my mom should come to my one bedroom where I have my husband and my two kids. And when I said no for the first time, no, for the first time, there was chaos, there was problem. My mom today is not living with any of us. 
My mom is not living with none of us. My mom is not even living with Choma. Choma swore and said she can't. Choma filed the paper. You know the paper for my mom? And when they had that police issue, and my mom was taken to the shelter to leave, Choma went to immigration and cancelled the paper that she did for my mom to become a citizen. She cancelled it, y'all. Look at this hate. Look at this hate. So that my mom was not going to get her paper. But finally, when she was at, at the shelter, people, like, the, 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 the government took up her, 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 her whole, like, her hospital bills and everything. Even till today, Choma, this general I came to, I, I, I can't, a doctor does not have her mother. My mom is actually somewhere, to, we don't know where she is. Seven children. Who got you? He's living right here. Because who bought a house with his wife, five rooms or four rooms? Because who refused to take his mom and was like, everybody was looking at me, no, you take him, mommy, in one room. Yo, the things I've seen for you people that think you want my life and when I'm happy, you're jealous. You can't even leave it. Because I don't come on the online today. You can't leave. If you walk in my shoe, you will buy, you go die. Within one month, you will be off. If you walk in my shoes, these are what loved ones will do to you. Bewitch you by. Anyways, when I ran away from Obi's house, went to Choma's house, I went from frying pan to fire. No, yeah, no, yeah. Every day, every morning, I'm, I'm being held in the meeting. Every morning. Why are you like? She says she must humble me. I'm a diva. I must. She, this lady will come back from work and she'll literally stay in because my room was close to where she parked her car. I will just be at the window looking at her. She will be scared to come into her own house because she's. And let me tell you, once she's coming, I'll just you know, act like I'm sleeping or something. She'll just come to my room, open the door. I'll be like, ah, now, Chema, look at her. You scared me. You didn't even tell me you were coming in. I can't tell you why. This is my house. How should I take excuse to come into my own house? Even if it's your room, so it's my house. All they were doing was to push me away, just like they were pushing me out in the way to go and and when they finally did, okay, finally, paper thing. Mm, you're gonna do paper. We're gonna bring you somebody that will do you do papers for you. I was like, okay. And I had limited time. Six months. By January, I was already staying four months. Choma, where is the person that will do the paper for me? Ah, okay, the person will come. Each time we went to the store to, to shop for groceries or whatever, Choma would be like, oh, sh look at that fine guy. You go and meet that guy. My dear, that was when I started to use my tongue to count my teeth. If this person says she's going to do papers for me, and then they're telling me about if I get to six months and they were like fear-mongering how the police are going to catch me, and I'm saying let me go home to Nigeria so that I can come back, and everybody was calling me on the phone and telling me how I'm acting like a diva. You came to America, the others want to come to you want to go home. That's because I was not comfortable. I was in the midst of predators, lions that want to eat me. Like they put a lamb in the midst of a lion's den. So I wanted to run. But finally, you guys, I met my husband on Facebook. I was so frustrated that I had, I, I, by then I had, when I was in Obedi's house, I had already met my husband uh, my husband on Facebook. So I used him as a leverage. When these things were happening, I'll call him and be like, come and pick me. Oh, when he comes to pick me, oh my God, did you see who came to pick me? Hey, we said that she's a prostitute. Whoa, no, yeah. My sister Choma chased me out in the cold two days before my birthday that if I don't leave, that her husband is going to divorce her and put my things out. When I mean not to go, put it out, like threw them out in the cold. I was in the cold, shivering, no jacket, nothing. In the park, close to her house. Until somebody, a friend, came and picked me up. The friend that also wanted to rape me in his house. The person that came to pick me up. I'm just gonna stop in this part three. There's a lot I want to say, but I'm gonna write a book. I'm writing a book, rather, therapeutic. I'm gonna write. You're all gonna hear the rest of the stories there. My time is up, and this is like, man, this time goes fast. But keep praying and let your and let your enemies suffer. God got them. I love you guys. So you just listened to a lady. Who used to be an actress in Nollywood before she relocated to the United States of America? 
years ago when she was 28 she is presently 25 so you can do the calculations yourself you can see her with some of her colleagues back then in the industry when she was acting not until her as she mentioned in the video her sister asked that she relocated to the united states and according to what she explained casa la Bost and all the stories you just had but here's the thing i don't know like not like i don't believe her but can siblings or family members be that cruel like is it possible i have my doubts like am i sure she's not on colos maybe something is not wrong with her because i'm really trying to i mean why will your siblings spend so much money bringing you to america and now try to you know treat you a certain way because to be very honest I used to know this girl way back in secondary school. She used to be like, you know, these secondary school baddies that broke rules, got suspended multiple times. So here is me wondering, like, did anything change? Did she become a better, a better version of herself? Because actually, the first few years she was in America, she seemed to have evolved. She was acting right. But for some time now, she has been acting really cocoa. She even called out her husband the other day, talking about how he left the house. She's a stay-at-home mom. How he left the house without anything. She even slapped their fridge. So I'm just trying to, you know, marry the two. You understand? So this particular post was made by this lady on the 5th of May 2024 and she called out her husband who is black American according to her he had left the house since April 21st and as a stay at home mom the house was empty these were just what she had in her fridge her children didn't have enough to eat so she was upset calling him out to return home you can pause and read the long write up although she has courage she has deleted the actual post from her page and recall that earlier funny enough in March she celebrated her husband she celebrated them their 98 together let's even take a look at that post here it says it's been nine years baby that's my American boy holding this evil princess down believable you rock my world and I am so proud of us with a couple of hashtags to accompany the post only for her to turn around few words like few weeks later to say that her husband had absconded from the house my dear the story deep no be swallow so i would actually like to know your thoughts in the comment section do you think she needs help do you think she's on colors she's some sort of like you know substance or you think she is being real with the whole you know stuff about her family trying to you know hypnotize her and all that i don't really want to use strong words because of youtube and their wahala that's why these stories like i get to see stories like this a lot but sometimes because of strong languages i try to overlook them i just hope youtube does not even flag down this world because of some of the words the girl in the videos uttered but well what are your thoughts share them in the comment section